Ready to go? Ready to go. Pain. That's the word, it's pain. Fida Webb can't quite believe she's on the back of her husband's bike and enjoying it. Even just a little win, it triggered the pain. Fida had trigeminal neuralgia. It's a condition that caused repeated attacks of intense stabbing pain in her face, three, four or more times a day. Scale of one to 20, probably more than that, 25, 30 or so. So bad that Fida says her life stopped. She didn't want to do anything because just about everything, smiling, talking, moving, sparked it. Seven years, I was in a depression. Many of these patients come to the office and they're very, very desperate. Dr. Reinald Reimer is a neurosurgeon at Mayo Clinic. He says some people who come to his office have lost weight because it's too painful to eat. There's various treatment options um, for younger and healthy patients. Uh, the most definitive way to treat the problem is, is by what we call a microvascular decompression. That involves removing a small piece of bone behind the ear to access the source of the pain, a blood vessel that pulsates against the trigeminal nerve and over time damages its myelin sheath. Then Dr. Reimer moves the vessels away from the nerve and places a pad between them to keep them apart. Another, less invasive method involves making a tiny nick in the cheek through which doctors insert a blunt-tipped needle followed by a balloon. The instruments are guided to the site where the nerve exits the base of the skull. When they inflate the balloon, it creates pressure that allows Dr. Reimer to cautiously compress the nerve and block pain signals. Sometimes that procedure takes as little as 10 minutes and should give uh, fairly immediate relief of pain. Oh, the pain, thank God it's gone. It worked for Fida. Oh, my life was back. I mean, I can smile, I can kiss my husband, I can just giggle. Fida knows there's a chance the pain could return. If so, she says she'll sign up for another procedure. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.